Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator, this is Graktor. Uh, yesterday, uh, Gray put up a video, I uh, upgraded his, um, garage, uh, and got his garage going, so, uh, I don't have quite enough for that, I've got about 92,000 saved up. He's using some mods, though, that make other things cost significantly less, so, you know, uh, just... Just putting that out there, so if he sees this and uh, feels guilty about me calling him out on it, then I guess maybe he has something to feel guilty about. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I'm going to be spending my money and I'm just going to upgrade my truck some more. Because uh, I'm not at the point where I can do my garage, but I want to do something significant. So I'm out over here in San Diego. Uh, I'm at the service station, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my, my truck a bit. Uh, Alright, so, right, so upgrade, we're going to upgrade, and the main lane that we're going to be upgrading is the cab. I've got enough to upgrade to the stand-up sleeper cab. And, uh, that's also going to upgrade the chassis. It's going to give me a uh, 220 gallon gas tank. Uh, nice, uh, good, sleek looking truck here. But for some reason it, uh, yeah, it resets the paint job. So bear with me while I fix this out. Gotta get my company colors going. So going for the green on orange with a uh, baby blue reflection, metallic reflection. So those are the company colors right there. Alright, so what else can I upgrade though? I found I found out these little on the when you do the upgrade uh, um, accessories here, the star, the ones with stars uh, show that you have a new item available. So it's kind of it gives you, gives you a place to look. Looks like they're not that new though. I believe I upgraded my tires already. It's looking pretty cool. Um, let's see, exhaust. I can do the exhaust here. Ah, that's looking pretty sweet. Do I have enough to do the interior? Yeah, I was looking at changing the visor, but I think I'm going to keep the chrome. It's all about the ritzy factor. It's the most expensive one, so that's the one I'm going to keep on there. Um, now I wasn't going to do the ah, I was going to do the interior, but I feel like with a better cab, you should have a better engine, right? So that's why I'm going. That's my theory. Yeah. I feel like I'm missing something though. Who no, okay. No, I think that's it. All 
All right, cool. All right, so $88,000 seems to be my total out of my 92.5. So I'm going to have to go do a job real quick, get some money and test out this new truck. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Alright, let me just go ahead. Um, just in case you guys are wondering, I upgraded to the uh, 500 horsepower engine to go with my stand-up sleeper cab and, and long 220-gallon uh, chassis. So, uh, listen up, baby purr. Now, I, I think they I think they call it a stand-up sleeper. Um, not I think because you can sleep in it, but mainly hold on. If you look at the design, as it goes back from the truck, it gets taller, and I believe you can. It's just it's just called that so that you can stand up uh, in the back part, so you're just, you're just able to stand up. All right, but I gotta find some work. San Diego. Something that's not crazy long. Sort by length here. All right. Okay, I think uh, Bakersfield looks like a good one. Now it's going to be a little bit different driving uh, this one because it's going to be a little bit longer and just bobtailing even. out for. Picking up my rig here at whatever this V company is. Just down the road here. Watch out for the, uh, as long as you're over that front line, before it, uh, it turns red, you, you don't get a ticket for running red lights. I found that out, uh, through testing. And, uh, speaking of getting tickets and stuff, uh, they did do an update. Um... They did an update, uh, tweaked a lot of the problems that people were having with the game, with the uh, excessive fines or fines were too much. Uh, they fixed being able to turn right on red, which I'm a huge fan of because I was trying to turn right on red a lot and still getting tickets. But they fixed that and I've tested it and it seems to be pretty well fixed. 
so. Need longer cab. Okay, so I'm starting to drive a little bit like Ray, I think. Maybe it's hereditary. Now, um, Gray and I were talking about uh, multiplayer. Uh, there are some servers available, um, but uh, we were talking about the pros and cons, and one of the main cons were is that the servers can get pretty overpopulated, uh, and seeing as there's only two states, there's not a lot of space for them to go, uh, so it's going to be more hassle than it's worth at this point, uh, we think. So... Um, We decided that we're probably gonna wait till they at least release another state before we uh, get into the, all that nonsense. But eventually, that's the goal. Uh, it'd be kind of cool to be driving side by side, actually, instead of just splicing the videos together and stuff like that. So it'd be cool. I think I messed up. I just realized that my, uh, I don't think I slept right before I picked up that job. So, might be running into trouble here. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's gonna be cutting close. Yeah, it's, I've got nine hours to get it there, and I've got about eight hours of sleep, or uh, well rested. So we'll see. So let's see if this turn right on red thing works up here. Hopefully the light stays red. So I didn't see him even not even see him there until it was too late uh, for me to adjust my my angle there so oh well not that big a deal hopefully it didn't do damage I don't think it did enough damage to me so I don't think it's gonna count but it's just the ticket Looks like we're 
turned in on the highway finally. Kind of taking a uh, gray hat a real life friend uh, whose philosophy with uh, getting on the highway was to uh, just uh, go to warp speed on the on the on ramp, and whoever's there better just get out of the way. So that's the that's the theory I've been using with getting on the highway in this game, and actually kind of works. Wouldn't recommend it in real life, but. Uh, but it seems to work in, in the game pretty pretty well. People get out of your way. Yeah, it's cruising down the highway. I noticed that's one thing they didn't tweak is that all the people speeding past you even though you're going to speed limit. Which I guess that's better than them slowing you down. Did hear that they will uh, give you, when the speed limit uh, changes on the road and during the trip, they'll give you a little bit more time to slow down uh, before you get like a speeding ticket, so that's one good thing, I guess. Uh, I haven't really tried that one out. I did, however, drive up next to a cop, and I realized I was going five over uh, right next to a cop, and I slowed down, and I didn't get a ticket. So they definitely did something with that, because before anything over three, they were nailing you instantaneously. So. I've been, I'm used to doing really long uh, trips now that pay like 14 fifteen thousand dollars so this should be uh, this should be nothing fishing and uh, with Phoenixen in real life uh, so that's kind of cool or enabled fishing I think it's called now uh, so, so yeah you guys check out that channel too uh, I'm sure Gray would appreciate it uh, I'm there too uh, Phoenixen's there it's all everybody's there so baby gamers not there I don't think I don't think we got any baby gamers. <laughs> she will be soon, though. She will be soon. Hopefully. bugs me when they speed. I mean, I, I guess I do know why it bugs me when they speed. But, yeah, I don't know. Is anyone else, is it just me, or is everyone, anyone else who plays this game when they see the cops blowing past? Especially back when the, the, the citations were so steep. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Anyone else have that, that innate anger towards law enforcement in this game when they break the law or is that just me just let me let us know in the comments guys because it'd be kind of interesting uh, or I don't know, it'd be a relief to know I'm not the only crazy person I do like 
like the infrastructure around here with all of the highways and everything. Uh, it's just really cool to see uh, like the web of roads that we've got going on. My bed's not even red yet, so I think we're I think we're fine. Okay, TA down at the bottom right there says I'll be there in like 45, 30 minutes, so stretch here looks like let's take another look at the cab while it's in action here Right into the 500 uh, horsepower engine, I'm not sure if it's too noticeable. It might, I don't know if it's because I have a bigger chassis and cab now, so it's, you know, just counterbalance the extra weight of that. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, I just don't notice the difference. I mean, at least under load, I'm not seeing too much of a difference uh, with that. So maybe, maybe bobtailing. I haven't driven around too much bobtailing yet, so so we'll see. Pulling up here now, so of course I always do the expert level of parking that Gray can never do. you turn your wheel because 
because there's just some certain times where I could I could get it on the first try if I were able to just crank my wheel faster. But uh, there's like one prescribed rate of which I can turn my wheel. Maybe it's just my control scheme because I'm using keyboard. Yeah, that's a decent amount of I guess. Uh, ooh, look at that. Level 15, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. New category of new category of awesomeness. All right, cool. Uh, all right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, check us out next week uh, with more American Truck Simulator. Uh, Gray and uh, myself will be back together um, in a co-op video. So check it out next week. Uh, in the meantime, Gray's still going to be doing his uh, year-long Let's Plays, so check that out as well. Until um, next time, uh, guys, drive safe, and we'll catch you next time.